Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world, welcome. My name is Kim Schofield, live from the Conrad Hilton Etihad Towers in Abu Dhabi, and welcome to Inspiration Tuesdays. Today, we welcome Ms. Asma Faraz, who serves on the Board of Trustees for the Enabled Children's Initiative and the American Chamber of Commerce in Afghanistan. Welcome, Asma. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you for the opportunity and interviewing me. Um, good evening for you and good morning for the audience in, in US and this part of the world. Um, I'm delightful to be with you today. So you have a full-time job. You're involved in all of these causes. Yes. Tell me what, I mean, what inspires your passion for these causes? What, where do you find, where do you find the time? Um, so Kim, I, um, as, a, as a generation um, that I was born in war, um, I was born in 1992 and it's the beginning of the civil war in Afghanistan. And uh, life wasn't easy. Um, now that I have, um, I was able to uh, be alive and then my family, all of them are in good condition is, is a miracle. Um, every night, uh, my mom uh, would, during the civil war, would have to dress up uh, before putting us in bed, put us, put shoes on, on the shelf to make sure that if a rocket hits or if the war starts, so she's prepared to take all of us to the basement. And every day you would wake up that uh, you would see that your friend has died or lost hand or leg or... Um, so obviously the, this doesn't make... Seeing all these didn't make made me more stronger and um, inspired me to uh, work harder. And if I get an opportunity to give back to support, I should take it and, and support as much as I can. Especially the kids, especially girls that are going through lots of challenges. Uh, so now that I'm living in the U.S., going to school is very normal for every kid. Every kid, when they are in a certain age, they go to school. The only problem they might have is, oh, I don't like my school teacher. I don't like the bath. But in Afghanistan, every day is a challenge for the kids, especially for the girls to go to school. It's not easy. They just don't, there's not only one problem. It's not just the security. It's their families that some of them don't want the girls to go to school. It's the community that people don't, in some certain regions, they don't, they don't think that go, uh, girls to go to school is a good thing. So every day they face challenges to just go to school. So all these challenges inspired me and I want to support, I want to do as much as I can. Um, so yeah, I get inspiration from every girl that's going to school, wake up and, try to go to school after a big bomb blast in their school. There was a huge bomb blast in Afghanistan um, a few months ago in, in girls' school. And uh, next morning, the girls, the, uh, there was pictures of them. They just went back to their school because they like to be educated. They, so seeing all these inspire me to do more and to be involved. You talk about growing up during the Civil War, but you were also a refugee, weren't you? Exactly. So, um, so my mom is uh, one of my role models, actually. So we have, I have only four, uh, we are only four sisters. I don't have any brother. And um, so we were in, uh, in Afghanistan, obviously, during the Civil War. But then when Taliban came, uh, we couldn't survive because they wouldn't allow us to go to school. Um, so my mom and my dad was like, okay, we can't live now in Afghanistan. It's hard because our girls cannot go to school. Um, so uh, they had to, uh, to leave the country just for our future, just for uh, educating us. And we all moved to uh, Pakistan. 
for a few years. And right after 9-11, 2001, we, when the Americans uh, like came to Afghanistan and wanted to support um, the country, we moved back to Afghanistan. It was still a challenge though, after you've moved back to Afghanistan, I'm sure. Um, exactly, exactly. So, so you've had quite a journey. You, you've survived a civil war. You've been a refugee, displaced from your country. And then your family had the courage to move back to Afghanistan. How did you come exactly. to be working for the US Embassy in the United States and AMS? Um, so I was working with Afghan Embassy in, in Washington. Um, exactly, it was a journey and, and, and that's why I think education is, is important. And if we never had a chance to get education and also going back to Afghanistan, we continue the education and, and this all 20 years that we always see that uh, probably some, some of our friends in the U.S. say that like, nothing changed during 20 years, but a lot of things changed. And it's generations like myself that was able to come back to Washington, D.C. and, and work for Afghan Embassy, be involved with American officials in, in D.C. Uh, and Afghan, which, was, which wasn't even uh, thought of that. I never, if anyone asked me that, were you, when you were a kid, were you even, like, could you th think that you could work at an embassy and in the most impo uh, important uh, cities in the world? I would say no, because there was no, no time for us to dream about our futures. Um, and, and obviously back with AMS, this incredible um, a company that now I'm able to work more in, in Afghanistan and not just in Afghanistan and in, in different regions, Africa, Middle East. Um, an Afghan girl is, is go, going to work uh, for, um, for folks in Africa and Middle East. I think it is, it is amazing and I'm really, um, thankful of all the opportunities that I, that I have that, uh, from, from the places where I work and working. You have achieved quite a lot for such, for such a, a young person and, and so early in your career. And you're going to have many more achievements. I expect to see you talking to the United Nations one day or, 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 you know, or, or an ambassador. I mean, you, you know, the, the world is your oyster. But for now... What achievement are you the most proud of? Um, so I'll go back to Enable Children Initiative and, and the partnership that uh, I have built between our company, AMS, and, and um, Enable Children Initiative. Um, so I'm really proud that I connected these um, uh, two organizations that uh, AMS is now a huge uh, supporter of. Uh, enable to an initiative where we can really see the the changes that uh, we are making. Um, so I can say that I'm really proud of of that. And it's also uh, our company was always involved in um, in giving back to the uh, communities, but being involved in such a great cause is is what I'm really proud of. That I have linked two good organizations together. And, uh, and also seeing as, as a uh, Enable Child Initiative Board of Trustees, seeing that um, the charity just uh, inaugurated the school um, that uh, is the first school for uh, enabled, uh, for disabled kids in, in Kabul. Uh, I'm really proud to see all these um, changes. What do you hope to achieve in the future? Um, a lot, I can say. Um, I really want to say uh, that I hope I can see that the kids, especially the girls, 
uh, which I don't think I will be able to do it by myself alone. Uh, but I hope to see that going to school for a girl in future shouldn't be a challenge, shouldn't be something abnormal especially in, in countries like Afghanistan, I think what we can do is raise awareness of how education is important. So I really want to focus on to um, onto that and, and awareness and, and uh, about educating girls. As, um, uh, I have, um, once I uh, watched an interview from uh, President Ghani, who said that um, his um, grandmother was probably on that um, age, lots of Afghan women weren't educated, but, um, but his grandmother was educated. And, and that's why the whole family is educated, the girls and the boys. So he said that if you educate a man, you just educate one person, but if you educate a woman, you educate generations. Um, so I think that even by educating one girl, you can change generations. So I would love to see that um, it's going to take some time, but that's what I want to achieve, at least to see um, 10 people, the 10 women, young women that uh, I support directly and they're educated and um, they get a better life. So. I like, I love that. Educate a woman and you educate generations. You know, you, as you've mentioned many times, I mean, you work for an incredibly socially conscious company, a AMS. What do you feel that businesses and business leaders and entrepreneurs can do to enable education for all? What is the, what is the answer to this challenge? What are some concrete steps we can take? Awareness. Awareness campaigns um, and uh, creating jobs. Those countries uh, need jobs. And I think that's uh, the, the way that businesses can support um, uh, countries like Afghanistan or other, uh, any other developing countries. Creating jobs and once you create it, jobs and also awareness how education is important uh, for girls especially creating jobs for women right so there's a lot of uh, uh, donors there's a lot of uh, NGOs or companies that they go train 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 but creating actual jobs are what is needed if uh, again if we give an uh, empower women or anyone uh, economically um, they will get their rights they will fight for themselves they will fight for their own generation so uh, for businesses it's important to create jobs as much as they can and give opportunity to women make them leaders and they will inspire the, the rest of their generation so how can we get involved with the Enabled Children Initiative or the Windows of Hope? Uh, how can we contribute or donate? Um, it can be training, it can be um, for the mentors, it can be um, financial support uh, for the community center that we are trying to build in Kabul. Um, uh, and also job opportunities. I think one of the other initiatives that we're doing now is to um, uh, to uh, support the uh, youth with disabilities to learn some skills um, and and uh, join the workforce uh, community. So, so I've um, shared my um, contact. Uh, anyone would like to support. Um, they can get in touch with myself. Perfect. Well, we've covered a lot of ground, Asma. Is there anything else that you would like to say or share with our audience? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. And uh, I have listened to, uh, to your interviews 
um, I think that's the other way that we can inspire generations like myself to see that different leaders, different people thinking differently and uh, and it's all your credit goes all to yourself that uh, with uh, that finding all these uh, leaders uh, and and uh, making them inspired uh, others. So thank you. Thank you very much, Asma. You are a true inspiration for all of us, especially Thank the you. millennials and Generation Z. You're brave and you're courageous. You. you faced countless challenges and you persevered. You're an inspiration to us all. And thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Kim Schofield. Thank you all for joining us. Stay safe. Be well and go forth and inspire.